The match kicks off with our squad of four dropping into what is usually known to be a hot drop zone, a village nestled between towering mountains and a majestic waterfall. It's usually crawling with enemies, but luck was on our side. We touch down in peaceful isolation, free to loot up. I stumble across a bicycle early on, a quick escape route if things go south. But today, it's a scout vehicle. After a quick powwow with the squad and securing some basic loot, I volunteer to ride out ahead, scanning for something bigger to haul our squad to the safe zone. The map shows the zone is a distant dream, and my solo bicycle won't cut it for a four-man journey. Now, this is Tago, a place where battles were fought, starting with whispers of resistance and ending with legends of an unlikely survivor. The village I left behind holds stories, stories we'd never hear, because we're too busy looting and shooting. Not too long into my scouting, I find an old red sedan. This thing looks like it can take a beating. I haul it back to the squad, pulling up next to my cousin. Always gotta grab family first. Then I swoop around to the others. But hold up, one of our squad mates blows right past the car, and I'm like, where's dude going? Then I realized my cousin had marked a muzzle brake for him, and of course, weapon attachments are key for survival. We pick him up and take him to get his piece. A teammate who knows what he wants is a good omen. As we head out, I throw out the tactically genius suggestion to split into two cars, doubling our chances for survival by eliminating the risk of our whole squad getting taken out by a single grenade. Plus, it's kind of fun doubling our chances of chaos. We drive through various fields and complexes unmolested. Where a dirt road met the paved road, we accidentally caught a little air, both cars narrowly avoiding landing tires up. But we all managed to make it to the safe zone alive. My cousin and I sit for a moment healing up while the four of us talk about where we're all from. The break doesn't last long before we decide to catch up to our other half. Their car has had a head-on collision with a tree. Looks like he should have let the girl drive after all. At least it gave us a good chance to catch up. My cousin usually lets me drive, mostly because I like shooting out the driver's side window like a maniac. There's something real satisfying about whipping a car around corners, pistol in hand, while your cousin unleashes hell out the passenger window with an assault rifle. With 17 teams left, 50 players in total, we're hunting, traveling fast, the other cars ahead by less than a couple hundred meters. They slide up on a complex. At the time, I'd have assumed that there were at least four enemies, but nope, just two. Still, it's enough to get tense. I reposition our car, prioritizing survival and putting cover between us and the complex, preparing to engage with scopes. Finally, our squad mates make a run for it and push towards the center of the safe zone, but my cousin? He hears another skirmish a couple hundred meters away. The guy can't resist, pushes around the base of the mountain and opens fire. As soon as he gets the enemy in his crosshairs, they perform something called a flick shot, turning towards him and instantly firing off shots, a few of them hitting their mark. Cousin down. It's messy. I swing the car around, using it to shield us as I hop out the passenger side, trying to revive him as he jokes about how it looks like I'm giving his avatar a butt exam. It's always the time for jokes. I tell him to lean into it. The enemy takes out a tire, so I make a desperate attempt to reverse the car out of their line of sight, and shit, I'm downed. Lights out, I'm out of the game. Unless my cousin can pull off a miracle. He puts just enough bullets in each of their heads to ensure that they'll be preoccupied long enough for him to go grab my blue chip from my loot box. Yeah, they're hurting. No peeking going on here. So he grabs my blue chip from my loot box, planning to head for the tower to revive me. On the opposite side of the towering rock, he spots a motorcycle, but circles the rest of the way around to shoot at the same team from a different vantage point, and you can see them all panicking and running for cover and trying to revive each other. Remembering the concept of time and the fact that he's alone, my cousin runs for the motorcycle only stopping briefly to put the fear of God into the original two players we encountered at that first complex. As he gets close to the bike, a player from a third team spots him and takes some shots at him, but they only hit him once. He makes his way across a large area, reconnecting with our other two mates and activating the blue chip cell tower, which will bring me back into the game in a bit. He gets shot at, takes cover, deploys smoke, and reinitiates the blue chip tower. That's my cousin. 
always carrying me to victory. My hero. Within a minute, I'm dropping back into the zone from a helicopter. I'm back in the game, descending from the sky like some battle-hardened angel. Except, now I've got nothing. Besides this machete. Great. I scramble, find my beloved Mini-14, and beg for ammo. The team obliges, and before you know it, we're back in action, firing at distant cars, pushing forward, and securing our place along the next blue zone edge. Our fourth encounters a squad between him and us as he moves toward us. He takes down two of them and then gets mowed down by an M60. The blue zone is doing heavy damage and we're not able to help him, but he essentially took out that whole squad, since due to his actions, none of them made it back into the safe zone. Close to the final circle, there are six teams and 14 players besides us. We do our best to hold down our corner of the circle, waiting for a good moment to advance. Now five other teams and nine other... No, eight other players. A car wandered into our territory and the three of us filled it with holes beyond disabling it to the point of it exploding, the vehicle doing a backflip while on fire and landing on its wheels. An opponent, hearing our gunfire and assuming we're distracted, crests the hill and opens fire on me. I get downed, but our third takes him out and my cousin revives me while our gamer girl keeps lookout. I get knocked down, but I get up again. This girl snipes dude out of the driver's seat and lays down enough additional fire to prevent this man's teammate from stopping to pick him up. Now that's what makes a gamer girl hot. Now it's just the three of us versus one lone player hiding behind a bush. We've got the numbers, the high ground, and he has no cover. He'll have to come toward us, and when he does, this girl on our team is the hungriest for damage, and she ends up securing the victory for us. Ultimately, I feel like we worked well as a team, all of us playing pretty intricate roles. So, that's how it happened. Take care, friends. 500. What a thief.